Welcome back to Mathematical Literacy Grade 10. Today we're looking at percentage and that is found on page 40 of your textbook. Well, what does percent mean? Percent means out of a hundred. So a value out of a hundred. Let's look at that in diagram form. In the block, in this block I have 10 rows by 10 columns. So my total number of blocks is 100. How many shaded blocks are there? Well, four rows of 10 are 40 plus three, so I have 43 shaded blocks. What percentage of the blocks are shaded? Percentage means out of 100, so I have 43 out of a total of 100 blocks, and that would equal 43%. So 43 are shaded. What percentage of the blocks are unshaded? Well, I know the blocks have got to add up to 100, so 43 plus what gives me 100? That would be 57 out of the 100 blocks are unshaded. That will give me 57%. I could also go and count. These are columns of 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus 7 would give me 57%. Consider the following test marks and convert each to a percentage. Well, to convert a number to a percentage, we multiply by 100%. Right, the percentage sign does not form part of your calculation. So if we went to our calculator, we would have 41 over 21 over 40 multiplied by 100. You see, I do not put the percentage sign in, and that equals 105 over 2, which is 52,5. So that equals. 52,5%. Convert 26 over 35 or 26 out of 35 to a percentage. So we multiply by 100%. 26% out of 35 multiplied by 100, no percentage sign, 75, 74,2857. So that, so that will equal 74,2857 and so on. Don't forget your unit. Your unit is a percentage. Go back to the question and see how many places you have to round off to. In this place, it's a test mark, so we're going to round off to one decimal place. We look at the neighbor. It is above 5, so rounded off will be 74,3%. Converting from decimals to percentages. Consider each of the following percentages and convert each to a decimal fraction. Well, percentage, remember we said, means out of 100. So I have 71 out of 100. And if I write that as a decimal, it is going to be 0.71. 64 would be 64% out of 100, which will equal 0.64. 0,03, I have two decimal places, so I would have 3 or 0, 0,3 over 100. So this would be 3%. 3 
Right, let's look at the next one. Consider the following test marks and convert each to a decimal fraction. Well, if you remember, to convert a common fraction to a decimal fraction, all we did was we said 21 over 40, or 21 divided by 40 equals SD. So that would equal 0, 0,525. 0, 0,525. 26 out of 35. 26 out of 35. We could go multiplied by 100 equals 74,28. Remember, we rounded it off to 74,3. How do we write that as a decimal? Well, it's 74,3 over 100, so that is going to be 0,743. Next one. Sandili achieved the following test marks, 21 out of 40 and 18 out of 30. Are his marks improving? Well, it's very difficult to see from these values. So a good way of having a look at improvement or um, decrease in marks is by changing these values to a percentage. So how do we change to a percentage? We multiply by 100 percent. So 21 out of 40 multiplied by 100 equaled 52,5. So his test mark was 52,5% for test one. Test two, so that's test one. Test two would be 18 out of 30 multiplied by 100%. 18 out of 30 multiplied by 100 equals, and that is 60%. So this would equal 60%. Are his marks improving? Yes, well, he got 52,5% for test one, and the second test he improved and got 60%. Possible percentage calculations. Well, type 1 is calculating a percentage of a value. Remember the word of means multiply. There is a 35% reduction on straw hats. The original price was 150 Rand. Calculate the discount. Not the selling price, the discount. So we are going to find 35% of 150 Rand. 35%, remember percentage means out of 100. So 35 out of 100 of means multiply 150 Rand. We go back to our calculator. 35 percent, 35 out of 100, multiplied by 150 equals 52 Rand 50. So this would equal 52 Rand 50. Remember to check your question. Calculate the discount. So the discount was 52 Rand 50. How much did he pay? Well, then you would have to take the original price minus the discount to get the amount paid.
type one. Type two and three. Type two is increasing a value by a percentage. Type three is decreasing a value by a percentage. Increase means you're going to add. Decrease you're going to subtract. There's a 20% saving on running shoes. If the current price of a pair of shoes is 350 Rand, then the discounted price will be, okay, what are we going to do? So the shoes originally cost 350 Rand. There is a reduction of 20%. So we're going to minus 20% of 350 rand. So 350 rand minus 20%, 20 out of 100 multiplied by 350 equals 70. Okay, so here we should have put 20%, 20 out of 100 times 350 Rand. When I did that calculation, this gave me 70 Rand. So 350 Rand minus 70 Rand Or equal 280 Rand. That was an example of decreasing a value by percentage. Let's look at an example of increasing a value by a percentage. You have worked really hard at your maths lit and you are hoping to increase your mark. Okay, so your mark at the end of last year was 68,2%. You want to increase that mark by 3%. So what do we do? Increase means add. So I'm going to have 68,2% plus 3% of the original mark, which was 68,2%. Right, these, once again, that is a unit, and this is a unit. So we're going to say 68,2, the mark, plus 3% is 3 out of 100 times 68,2. Right, so we're going to have 68,2 plus okay, 3 out of 100 multiplied by 68.2 equals 2,046. So 2,046. If I add those together, I'm going to add 68.2 and my answer will be 70,246. So 70, 246. So I'm going to round it off. I'm looking at getting a 70.